Thank you for tuning in to the very first episode of Darth Social Justice. Social Justice with Darth. Watch you come around. Big hand lay you down. Big hand safe and sound. Big hand wear the crown. Watch you come around. Thank you for tuning in to the very first episode of Social Justice with Darth. Today's interview is a straight white male. He's also a Democrat. Let's give, give a what's your what's your name? Let's give a round of applause to Max Bravo. Yay! It's an honor to have him with us here in the studio today. So without further ado, let's begin this interview. I am uh, Max Bravo. Uh, I'm 30 years old. I was born in 1989. I'm from Los Angeles. I have two older siblings. One's 33 and one's 40. So you're so you have family. You have, you have like a nice a nice healthy family. Yeah, absolutely. We're, cool. we're super tight. Cool. Are your uh, parents married? No, they're divorced. Okay, thank God, because pe people shouldn't get married anymore. It's just bad for everybody. I, you know, actually, whatever. Uh, but uh, and I I live with uh, a roommate. I have a roommate. You have uh, a roommate. Uh huh. That's good. It's good. Everyone needs help to pay for rent. Okay, and uh, he's gay. I don't know. Uh, oh, you have a gay, you live with a gay roommate? Yeah, yeah. What's his name? His name's Justin. He's like one of my best friends since college. You so. guys ever hooked up before? Ew, no. What do you mean, ew? I mean, I'm a straight guy. Are you a homophobe? <laughs> no, I just don't hook up with guys. Oh, and I'm also a huge uh, free speech advocate. First and Second Amendment, baby. Okay, All first off, sp speech shouldn't be free. It shouldn't be. You d because you can offend people, and like that shouldn't be allowed. You shouldn't be allowed to offend that's, anybody. That's the whole point of the First Amendment, is you can change the channel, freedom of speech, government, religion. Like, yeah, but if you keep changing the channel and everything's just offensive, then I'm gonna get triggered. Well, but that's what's great about this country, is they could say what they want to say, and you could choose not to listen and walk away. Okay, so our first... So the first question of the day I have for you is, how would you, um, fuck. Okay, so Max, the first question I have for you is this. Would you have sexual relations with a trans girl? No. Why not? Because they were once a guy. No? So then you're a transphobe. You're transphobic. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You're super transphobic. That's not transphobic. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. They were once a guy. Yeah, but they're a woman now. No. Yes, they are. I mean, I'll call them a woman if they want to be called a woman, but they were once a guy, and now they're not, but no. That's not my sexual preference. Is that what you want to hear? You're a transphobe. I, I just, I don't get it. How can you say that you're not a transphobe, but you're not gonna have sex with a trans girl? Okay, so let me ask you, we'll flip it. You're a super progressive liberal girl, right? Yeah. Uh, and I'm a liberal also, by the way. Okay. Voting for Biden, okay? But, just wanted to preface that, but would you have sex with a trans man? Yes, I would, I would. I would have sex with a trans woman, okay? I would, I mean, like, I, it doesn't mean I would, like, enjoy it, but I would do it. I would do anything for the cause. Anything to help propel our agenda, I would do, okay? I'm a patriot for the Democratic Party. You're just a fucking, you're cancer. You're, you're dangerous. You're an incel. You're a white privileged incel. This interview's fucking over. I get laid. How can I be an incel? What's the definition of incel? No, I'm not racist. I'm a Jew. Well, I'm Jew-ish. You're like, you're either Jew or you're not Jew. Huh. It, there's no jew issue. It's like... I was bar mitzvahed, I have Jewish parents, I follow all the ho uh, high holidays, and... Right. Okay, fine, so you're a Jew. Okay, fine, I whatever. I eat bacon, but... You eat bacon? Oh, yeah. You're so bad. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit, um, triggered. Uh, so let's just move to the next question. Um, okay, so Max, how do you feel about our country's current gun laws? I think they're ridiculous. Yes, yes, I totally agree. They're ridiculous. They need to go away. There should be no more guns at all. We finally agree. I agree. Oh my God, they're so bad. We need to get rid of guns completely. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? That's not what I meant. What do you mean? That's exactly what you're saying. They're ridiculous. No. 
I mean, the gun laws are ridiculous because they're super restricted for safe gun owners that are law-abiding. And um, how do you know they're law-abiding? Because they get a, a background check before. They yeah, but not everybody's a safe gun owner. Anyone could just take the gun and, and just go shoot somebody. I'm telling you, anybody with a gun is a dangerous person. Dangerous. Uh, yes. Part of being a safe gun owner is also researching what it takes to be a safe gun owner. So that means training and how to store it. You got to get a safe for it. Uh, it has to be out of reach completely of children that could be around. So I'm not a parent. I'm a single guy. Yeah, but if you got rid of all the guns, right? Like if you got rid of all the guns, then there would be no guns to shoot anyone. That's Duh. unconstitutional. No, the criminals would totally have their own guns somehow. Oh, would they? Absolutely. Not if you ban them all. That's not true. People know how to make it's guns. It's true. It's nope. true. Yep. There, there will be no more guns. Is there no explaining? This is why I wish Beto would have been president. We're going to take away your AKs. Oh, You're my so gosh. bad. You're such a... <sighs> this interview is not going the way I thought. I thought you were a liberal. I am a liberal. You're not a liberal. You claim that I'm you're a, a liberal. I am a traditional Democrat. Oh yeah? Like a level-headed one who's not radical left and scaring everyone away, even your own side, by the Are way. Are you saying that I'm scaring you? <sighs> I'm just getting, I'm getting really, really upset. You're, you're really disappointing me, Max. So let's just go to the next question, okay? Um, so you say that, you say that you're a liberal. Yet you claim you're a liberal, okay? You claim you're a liberal, yet you like to go shoot shoot your big scary guns and, and you won't have sex with a trans girl. What kind of... Fuck! I don't know what that has to do with anything, but you know, uh, I know that I'm like a contradiction in some areas. Like I like guns, uh, but I live with a gay guy and I'm a liberal, uh, but I, you know, there's certain things that I just don't pander to. You're an embarrassment to our entire party. You are not progressive. You're a, you're fake. You're not real. You're a Republican. Fucking Trump supporter. I just said I voted for Biden. Well, you look like a Trump supporter. N now, now you look like a Trump supporter. Now who's uh, judgmental and uh, bigot? Well, I would ha at least, I, at least I would have sex with a trans girl. Okay. No. Yes. <laughs> Don't laugh. Why the fuck are you laughing? This is ridiculous. This is not funny. I have tons of, I have not tons. You're like offending I, a lot of my viewers right now. I don't give a shit. Look. Oh my God. Say that one more time. The interview's over. Okay, so I already know how you're gonna answer this question because you just, you've, you've made it pretty obvious. Uh, so I can't wait for this interview to be over. Uh, so there's only one more question. And the question I have for you is about safe spaces. Do you enjoy safe spaces? How do you feel about them? And should we have more? Is there something uh, funny about being safe? No, okay, it's like that word woke. Uh, being aware, okay, which is what woke means, and progressive was just a thing that someone possessed 10 years ago before this word ever happened. Now, safe spaces, oh, it, was a thing for a long time. It's not a new thing. Exactly. But now, but now, hold on, safe places turned into safe space that follows you around everywhere throughout your day and everyone around you has to pander to what you are sensitive to. It's bullshit and it's selfish, okay? No, fuck that. You know what? I'm out of here. I'm okay, let me just take it down, okay? Because I'm not trying to be crazy. I'm trying to be level-headed and, and really, like, meet you on level ground here. Safe places are totally okay. Like an AA room or, like, your therapist's office or your home with your family and or, like, dinner with close friends. Those can be safe places. But if you expect everywhere to have your safe place, that is just selfish. You're sorely mistaken. So it's and selfish to have everyone want to be safe? Everybody deserves to be safe. Everybody deserves to have a safe space everywhere. I think the whole world should be one safe space. Otherwise people can get killed and their feelings could get hurt. Okay? I need my coloring books and my crayons and my pony rides. I need all of that stuff. 
Everyone needs a pony sometimes. Everybody. But also, you need to strengthen yourself so you can be able to roll with the punches when someone says something. Oh my god, I don't like, want to get punched. Oh my god. I'm not a violent person. <laughs> you carry around a gun and like you like you're not about safe spaces, so you're the dangerous no, one. No, no, you're no. dangerous. Hold on, I'm sensitive just like everyone else is, okay? You're white. There's nothing to be worried about. You're fine. That is racist. You are so white. That's racist. And though. you're privileged. You, how? Because you're white. That's racist. How is that racist? Do you see it's how true. What you it's do, fucking true. Do you see how what you do is bad for our team, for the left? You're bad for us, okay? And plus, you sound stupid. Oh my god, I'm being- this is a health- this- I, what I'm doing is right. I'm fighting for the cause, and you're just here trying to tear it all down. Okay, I'm sorry. I, you know, I shouldn't have called you stupid, but- No, you shouldn't have. I'm sensitive, for real. You're just so a big, tough man pretending to be sensitive. Man, you know what? Look at you, like, you're strong, like... you have all denim, you're wearing denim jeans <laughs> and a denim jacket and a denim shirt. You're like the manliest of all men, okay? Okay, this interview is over. You are never coming back. Why don't you just go fuck your gun? I will. I'm gonna go to my safe space. Yeah, you go to your safe space. I am going to my safe space! I feel pretty safe back here, away from you!